I'm Ty Miller from Jamaica. I think they're mostly fascinated by the things I write about. Um, they ask about religion in Jamaica, they ask. Uh, I think there's just a general fascination about Jamaican culture, so um, yeah, it, it, it's always asking to clarify, well, you know, why do you write about this? Is this, oftentimes, is this true? Um, I, I think I, I write about superstitions a lot. Well, what some people would call superstitions, and they keep on asking, where does that come from? It's always clarifying questions. Here's the thing, I write both poetry and fiction. Um, and so different writers affect me in different ways. So yeah, W.S. Merwin has always been a huge influence. Um, Salman Rushdie has always been a huge influence. Um, uh, Carol Shields from Canada, David Malouf. Um, I mean, lot, I've been reading lots of essays by, um, well, by all kinds of people. but. Um, but the essay form as a whole seems to interest me a lot now, just how clarifying it can be, again. There are gestures that keep on appearing, so I think my tone is always, I, I try for the tone always to be conversational. Um, so several sentences begin with and, or but, several sentences begin with conversations, or several, or, or several sentences will begin with, um, a word like well, which, which I, I see it as a gesture, it's, it's, it's gesturing towards the conversational. So you'd say, uh, well, I'm not sure why, and in editing I often cut those beginnings of the sentences because I think I've, I've got that tone enough, but I keep on putting it in there to remind myself of the tone. Um, so yeah, oftentimes those are the things which I, I go back and I edit out. I actually find it hard writing in silence. Um, if, like, I can't, I can't go on some mountain retreat where there is no one and find that productive. Um, so probably the environments that I find it easier to write in are the are the environments that are populated with people and where there's just a kind of buzz happening around. And I don't find those difficult environments. I find I find planes really useful. I find trains especially extremely useful and productive spaces so probably the most difficult space to write is is at home when no one is there when I'm by myself what I try to do I try to include a spiritual dimension and and I've never known how to articulate that fully um, but it's um, you know Toni Morrison you know her famous saying was that there is a world beyond the five senses um, and and how do you include that world? Um, and yes, and, and, and how do you include a feeling in writing that isn't that isn't touch or smell or um, sight, uh, or or how do you just write about something that we feel deeply? And and, and that's all it is. It's it's something that we are that we feel very very passionate about. I mean, I mean, part of being in writing in in Britain right now is that I think there is a there's a way in which you write or, or in which we we validate writing or especially intelligent writing and what it says is that if if you feel very passionately about something if you believe something very strongly then you have to undercut it with irony you have to destabilize it you have to show the other side and when you undercut belief or passion with irony, it almost signals your own intelligence, it signals that you're more nuanced in your thinking. Um, and I think those are the things I resist. I resist undercutting belief with irony. Um, and, and I think I'm always trying to find, find a way to say this thing that you believe passionately and just saying it as it is without it seeming corny or, or stupid or naive. And, and in a way, I think that's that's a kind of spiritualness that I'm aiming for, which isn't so obviously. I mean, sometimes it's grounded in the religious, but but I don't think it's a re it's always a religious fascination with me. It's about it's just about what matters, what matters most deeply, and, and how do we write about that thing that isn't 
that isn't a physical object. Um, it's, it's amorphic, it's spiritual. I'm very liberal with that. Anyone who writes, who is a good writer, that's a more difficult question. But who is a writer? Anyone who wants to say they're a writer is a writer. I'm fine with that.